Hi, so here we are. Two weeks in and already everybody's in a panic. Has the whole world gone crazy? Just here in the heartland, Walter. And I'm not even talking about the loss to Pittsburgh. That's whatever. The real concern, as you know, in Minnesota is Sam Bradford. Comes off the best game of his career and then can't even play in the next one because of something with his knee. First, it was this unspecified non-contact injury, something about a flare-up from the ACL surgeries or something. Then there were rumors of scar tissue. Then it was a bone bruise. Now it's back to being a non-contact injury. And I just, does anyone have a gun? And yeah, it's exactly like the Vikings for this to happen. Things seem to be going well, then out of nowhere, wham! Your quarterback can't play. Soon enough, the roof will be caving in. But we're not gonna dwell in pity because the Sam Bradford situation may indeed be getting better. It's possible that last week was just a blip on the radar and he will play against Tampa. I mean, he has been practicing this week. And lucky for us, we have a low quality video of the short, open portion of practice on Wednesday to agonize over. So let's check it out, shall we? Now before this, I need to make a disclaimer. I am not a doctor. And to be honest with you, I wouldn't even make a very good nurse. But this is the internet, where actual areas of expertise and or truth don't matter. We just make it up. On Facebook, everyone's a political expert, to the point where my good friend once pointed out we might as well just put Senator in front of everyone's name. And on Twitter, it seems we have no problem commenting on medical issues, despite the fact that many of us can't even grasp simple English grammar, much less human anatomy. So screw it! For the rest of this video, you may refer to me as Dr. Sam Newman. Let's take a look at what's going on in there. Okay, so here you can see putting more weight on the back leg, clear indication of scar tissue buildup in the joint. Also, which leg is it again? Ah, yes, right there. You see him clearly favoring the fourth metatarsal, a good indication of lack of mobility in the, uh, okay, and we see, okay, there's gonna be another drop back and see how he, see how he sort of shifts his weight to the other leg? That could be gangrene. And oh, that's a good throw. Oh, that was Keenum. Okay, run it back. Okay, it, yep. Look at that. Um, the way the arm comes back, it, he's dealing with some arthritis in the, um, okay, this is the same, that's the same one we saw. Okay, so how are you supposed to, it's Keenum again. Um, there you go. There's that throw again. See what I mean about the leg? Uh, yeah, mobility in the ankle an issue too. I don't know if we heard about an ankle injury, but you can see the ankles aren't moving that well. This is bad, guys. Yeah, you see, that's, nope, this is bad. No, see, this is worse than people are saying, you can see. No, the truth is, none of us know what we're talking about. And this guy sure as heck isn't tipping his hand. Bradford could play this week or he could go on IR. We simply don't know. So let's hope for the best. Let's hope he gets cleared to play this week and we get that encore of that game one performance, albeit a week late. Because it's not like this thing will just get mysteriously bad all of a sudden and derail a once promising season because the quarterback can't seem to stay on the field and we're forced to deal with Case Keenum for 14 more games. No, that's definitely not something that would happen to the Vikings. Whoa. I apologize. Dr. Sam went off his meds for a sec. He has a very serious condition called Minnesota fandom, and it can only be treated with heavy painkillers and booze. But one last thing. The other hot topic on the line this week is speculating about whether Zimmer and or Spielman might lose their jobs if things go sideways this season. And I think I have a clip for that one too. Let me see. Has the whole world gone crazy? Yeah, same one. Listen, if you think the Vikings should fire Mike Zimmer or Rick Spielman for any reason this year, you, my friend, need a hobby. I recommend watercolor painting. I know it hasn't been Lombardi trophies galore, but one of these guys has assembled a top-notch NFL roster by any metric, and the other one took a bottom feeder to a division championship in two years. These guys have acquired two promising quarterbacks. It's not their fault they keep having knee-related bad luck. A lot of teams around the NFL have it worse in the coaching and personnel departments than we do. And if you want to bitch about how Trey Waynes hasn't exactly turned out how you'd like, that's fine, but you better also be saying thank you for guys like Daniil Hunter, Everson Griffin, Stephon Diggs, and Xavier Rhodes. And oh, by the way, a rookie class that has the look of one of the better ones in the last 20 years. So just chill on that stuff for a while. And if the season ends 3-13, and 13, then you can come talk to me. For now, we go chasing that W Sunday against a Bucks team I find mildly overrated. So whether it's Sam or Case, I do have a crystal ball, and it's showing a Vikings victory. 
If I'm hard on you, it's because I love you. Don't ever forget that. I'll see you next time. Go Vikes.